beginning stages of my career living in Atlanta, um, just being someone that just loved the art of music, um, wanted to write songs for people. I remember going to different rooms and meeting different producers and not actually giving a chance to go into actual studio rooms. I would hang out in like the couch living areas outside, right? Hoping that somebody notices me, hoping that I can get someone's attention to um, play them something I've recorded in the past, to get a chance to get in a room. This happened like many years, like actually like, but one thing for me was I never stopped. Um, I remember an incident, a guy named Kevin Shine in Atlanta like just saw me sitting on the couch. He was like, yo, bro, what do you do? Like, I'm like, I'm a singer, a songwriter. He's like, let me hear what you do, right? I played him what I had at the moment. This was after many months of going back and forth to the same studio. This was a place where all the big stars come. Playing him um, one of the songs I had, it was pretty decent, it was okay. But he heard something in me that um, made him introduce me to somebody else. Right? I met another amazing producer that did a lot of like um, big records for like Case. This guy, um, his name is Kenny Smooth. He um, produced um, Touch Me, Tease Me by Case, old record. Um, a lot of R. Kelly records back in the days. Veteran producer. From that I met somebody else. I met someone else. I met someone else. Right? I think this life is a journey. Um, you can't um, doubt yourself at the beginning stages. Nobody sees your vision, right, except you. 